What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another uh, player review. Today we're taking a look at the Derby Day Manchester United and Manchester City player pack. It's got four players from United. You've got Bruno, Anthony, De Gea and Martinez. And then City has got Foden, Alvarez, Walker and Ake. So it's a fairly, look, it's a fairly unusual pack. I mean, there's four players each. I think that they'll add probably a few more of these as time goes on. You'll probably get Barca and Madrid and you'll probably get all the Derby Days. Um, but yeah, there are some good players in here. I would say that the picks of them are probably Martinez and Anthony from United and then Foden and Walker. But uh, Ake and Alvarez are quite decent as well. De Gea and Bruno, there's been a lot of Bruno cards and De Gea is an, is an okay keeper, but there are better than him there. So we are going to go through them. We're going to take a look at how I would train them up in their max uh, ratings and stuff. Don't worry too much about their max overalls, lads, genuinely, because to be honest with you, it all depends on how you train them up and how you want them to play. And I think that the meta has changed a little bit as well, that these players are actually quite decent for their positions. Now, we're going to start with Foden. We're going to start with the City players. All these players have 90 playstyle proficiency. Most of them have standard form. But the thing I like about Foden that kind of sticks uh, him out or, or, or makes him stick out is his passing ability and his actual passing skills, right? So if you look at his actual stats here, and we max them out here on eFootballDB.com, you will see that you've got 90 acceleration, 93 balance, 85 speed and offensive awareness, and then 91 ball control, 90 dribbling, and 90 tight possession. But we've also got 76 finishing and 73 low pass. Now, this is how I've trained him up. Um, you could, if you wanted to, you could actually take maybe two from the dexterity there, and put it into passing um, that will bring him up to a 94 as well and you'll have 77 and 76 passing because the passing is gone a little bit haphazard since the last update so i do think you need to have the passing for your players you know over 75 but to be honest with you that's how i would probably train him up i would probably take a gamble on it um and just leave the passing there and put his his acceleration at 89 or 90 get that balance up as well which is gonna you know be able to hold off players but you'll see there that even though with those stats He's got insane player skills. He's got double touch, one touch pass, true pass, and a way to pass, and low loft to pass. So even though his passing stats aren't that high, you know, they're not as high as Bruno's, or they're not as high as some other wingers, you're going to have all the passing skills that are going to be, you know, able to overcompensate for that. Kyle Walker is probably the pick of the whole lot, lads, right? He is going to be the guy that we look at if we are going to be trying to upgrade this squad. Um, a bit of a pity that he has standard form. Um, and he doesn't also have blocker. A lot of the players that are right backs or left backs don't have blocker, but he does have man marking and interception. So if you are using him as a man marker on your wingers and your opponent's wingers, you are definitely going to have one of the best right backs in the game. Like he is incredible. So when we look at his player skills, you've seen you've got everything that you want there. He's also got a couple of dribbling skills, 86 speed and 83 stamina without even training him up. And he's got 28 levels to go is really really nice so this is what i have trained him up this is my guide for walker any version of walker this is what i'd be kind of improving on his card right so we've got four into passing and dribbling eight into dexterity and lower body strength and then 11 into defending now depending on how good of a defender you are you could potentially get away with that at maybe like an 82 aggression and an 87 defensive engagement but what i like about that is getting the tackling up to 81 now you could again you could probably leave that at 80 and then have maybe one more into acceleration if you wanted to, or dribbling if you wanted to bring the dribbling up a couple. But to be honest with you, I would probably max out um, that as best as I possibly could with the defending and get it up as high as you possibly can. You're still going to have 94 speed, eight, or yeah, 87 acceleration and 91 stamina, ball control, low passing, all those are really, really good as well. So I think that Walker looks insane. Is he going to challenge Cancelo? Is he going to challenge Kimmich? for one of the best right backs or Trent legend Trent um there is you know a lot to be said about that but I think that's his best version if you are looking for a very solid defensively engaged uh right back that is going to be having the, p the pace and the speed to deal with pretty much any player in the game we've also got Ake here as well um you know if we were going to be training Ake up I'll do it here his stats aren't going to go that high even if you max out everything in 16 points into the progression there and uh, ignore everything else you're still not going to get that aggression up to past 90 you're going to get it to 87 so i would just probably put this as as a solid maybe 87 defensive awareness 87 tackling and then i would probably because you're not going to be winning too much ball in the air with him i would probably put eight onto the lower body uh, or 80 onto the lower body strength which is seven points get that speed up to 80 and the stamina up to 83 and then i would probably pump in a couple of more into dexterity there 
And I would also probably um, put one or two into his passing and one or two into his dribbling just for that ball control to be there. Um, it's kind of an unusual build for him, but I do think that this guy, you need to play him as more of a, a kind of a, a build-up kind of ball-playing guy. Um, you're not going to get that defense up. Like, you could if you wanted to. You could obviously, you know, take two of them away and take one of the passing away and have one more into defense. Um, that could be an option as well, depending on how good of a defender you are. But those stats, man, are, are going to be very, very solid. 80 speed with 88 defensive awareness, low pass and uh, tight possession and all that are in the 70s. So, yeah, he's not a bad player to have either. And then last but not least, we have Alvarez. So Alvarez actually does have unwavering form, uh, which is unusual for this card um, because he is obviously a center forward. That's, you know, he doesn't start every game, but he had a really good World Cup. Uh, deep line forward, they're always fairly tasty, but they're hard to use because they're not really pacey. But Alvarez's card is really, really decent. So he's got lovely player skills, really nice player skills, as well as one touch pass, which means that you'll be able to kind of spin off defenders. And when you train him up, this is how I would train him up. So you've got 88 offensive awareness, 85 ball control, 80 speed, 86 acceleration, and 86 finishing. So he's kind of like, I would say, Latauro Martinez. That's kind of how he plays. He's obviously not going to be as good as Mbappe, but he is a very, very, very good option. Moving on to the United ones, I'm not going to spend too long on Bruno because we've covered him. Look how many cards of Bruno we've had. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, nearly like 13 cards of Bruno I think we've had so far. Um, so yeah, I mean, with his Portuguese pack and the, the special edition and the two United packs, the legend packs, there's been a lot of cards of him. So there's been about 12 cards of him. I'm not going to spend too much time on him. You know what you're getting with Bruno lads. He's just a pass first player, very similar to kind of Zico or any of those players. Um, you know, you probably have a couple of versions of Bruno there. Very good player skills. Um, he has standard form with this one as well. Um, so some of the cards such as this one do have the tree, uh, form, which is the unwavering. Um, his legend does, but this card actually does have um, this card does have the the standard form, which you know a lot of these players do, um, which is a bit of a pity on this card. So I wouldn't bother with this card if you do spin him. If you've got a different version of him, we've also got David de Gea. Not going to spend too much on him either. He does have standard form as well, and he does max out at ninety awareness and ninety reflexes. Look, he's an average keeper, lads. He's a good keeper, a good shot stopper, but there are better there than him. Anthony is a very interesting one, right? Anthony is a very, very, very interesting uh, player. Obviously, um, he's a brilliant right winger. He's one of my favorite players to use. Excellent player skills, kind of like Dembele. He's one of the best dribblers in the game, but he's also got uh, some really nice play styles and really nice player skills, including long range curler, which if you are looking for a left footed player um, to cur cut in off the right flank and shoot, uh, you could do worse than Anthony. If you do get him, you know, you're going to have 90 ball control and tight possession with 91 dribbling, 88 balance, 90 speed, 94 acceleration. The only thing that lets him down is his offensive awareness and he doesn't have unwavering form. Um, but he is probably the best version of Anthony out there at the moment. And this, you know, a lot of people have been asking for a featured edition of Anthony. So here you go. And then last but not least, we have Martinez, an extremely good player. He's got unwavering form. He's got pretty much every single... Uh, player skill that you could possibly want on a defender right he's got long ball expert there but he's got one touch pass way to pass and low loft to pass but he's also got interception and blocker i think this guy could be you know a bit meta um i have his argentinian version and i have his original manchester united version uh this version here we have this one of him in our club i have the original original version of him as well um this one the strong defenders we have pretty much every version of him uh, but I think that this one is going to be a very unique one, right? Because when you are looking at a player, right, you need to look at a mixture of player skills. And Martinez does have everything that you could possibly want in a player apart from his height. But he has everything like 97 aggression is massive. But on top of that, then you've got 80 acceleration with 86 stamina, 88 defensive awareness, 89 tackling, and his defensive engagement is 90. But he's also able to pass and dribble as well. So that won't let you down. So... That is it for me, lads, with another pack. We will be opening a few of these, uh, hopefully. Um, but until next time, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you in a bit. Are you going to spin or skip? Let me know in the comments below. Peace.